everybody and welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions and today yeah you can see it's hot brother sweating but I just want to come to you and this episode is brought to us by Michael G appreciate you keep donations coming but today I want to talk to you about something that I saw yesterday and the thing that came up it was in the Amber Geiger trial and it was the judge allowing the castle doctrine and a lot of people had no real clue of what that was. Now, I want to give you the definition of the Castle Doctrine and what it means, and then I want to tell you something that will make your mind explode about this particular thing. The Castle Doctrine, or the Castle Law, or the Bents of Habitation Law, is a legal doctrine that designates a person's abode or legally occupied place, which can actually be a house, a car, RV, anything of that nature, as a place to which that person has protection and immunities. And this is actually very similar to the stand your ground, quote unquote, law in Florida, and also similar to what is in Georgia. Now, the funny thing about this is the fact that it was brought up and Amber Geiger admitted to having a key to Botham John's apartment. Amber Geiger admitted to opening the door and going into Botham John's apartment. Amber Geiger also admitted to, after shooting Botham John, opening that same door with her key to Botham John's apartment for the paramedics. Now, the reason this thing was asked for is because if she's allowed to stand your ground in her home or in her abode or a place that she had, quote unquote, legal occupancy, then the stand your ground law would apply. The problem is that was not her apartment. Even though she had a key, that was not her legal residence. That was not a legal place for her to be occupied in. But what I found interesting was the fact that the judge allowed it. Because what you have is now you're seeing that she is not being tried as police officer Amber Geiger. She's being tried as citizen Amber Geiger. Now, that's what I got for you for that, but I want everybody to be on alert because the one thing that we're not going to see, we're not going to see her convicted of murder. Let's go ahead and get that out there. Look for her to be convicted of something as a lesser or even along the lines of voluntary manslaughter. But the effect of the castle law or the castle doctrine or stand your ground has no effect in this situation because it's not her house not a legal residence for her to be in so again i thank everybody that's been donating one more time for michael and if you're using apple pay leave your name venmo leave your name google wallet I already got you and you know my favorite cash app <coughs> if you don't have it use my link in the description we both get paid and it's quick and easy. You get super discounts for using it. So until next time.